Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn a hacker rank problem called breaking the records. Let's read the question and try to understand what needs to be done in this particular problem. Maria plays college basketball and wants to go pro. Each season, she maintains a record of her play. She tabulates the number of times she breaks her season record for most points and least points in a game. Right. Points scored in the first game establish her record for the season and she begins counting from there. Right. Now she is basically playing a game, a basketball game and she wants to maintain a record of the scores what she has made and then she wants to identify that how many times she has broken the record on the higher side as well as on the lower side. We can understand it better if we see the sample input, right? This is a very sample input, out, okay, small sample input. The first match, whatever we play here, that will set her initial record, right? You can just mention here, points scored in the first game establish her record for the season. So 12 is the initial okay uh, record what is set and then second game onwards if she scores better than the previous set record right the high scores will be breaking like for example 24 is greater when compared to 12 so the at the higher end she has broken the record right if you can just observe this is the initial things and then 24 since it is greater when compared to the present highest the higher record has been broken but the lower record is not broken the third match 10 now she has scored lesser than the present least so the lowest record is again broken so totally once she has broken the lowest record and once she has broken the highest record and finally the last match she scored 24 but this 24 she has not broken any lower record because it is not less than 10 neither she has broken the higher record because it is just matching up what she scored in the second match not greater than that so once she has actually broken the lowest record and once she has broken the higher record and for better understanding there is one more example input it's a lengthy data here but nice explanation is also given out here right i'll just try to reduce this right so the first one what happens the 10 with respect to 10 that is the initial record is set right and then second match when she scores 5 she has broken the lowest record because it's lower than the present lowest third match 20 it's higher when compared to the present highest fourth one she has not broken the record any side fifth one four she has broken the record on the lower side sixth one five she has not broken any record in both the sides out here seventh one again you can just see she has actually broken the lowest record eighth one she has again broken the highest record and then ninth one she has broken the lowest record so two times she has broken the highest record and four times she has broken the lower record so our job is given the score of each and every match you need to find out how many times they have broken the higher record and how many times they have broken the lower record right now let's start doing the program now right now i have written the code to read the input one is the number of games played here and the next one is what is the scores in each of the game now the first game how do we get the first game scores of zero now the first game basically sets the highest initial highest record as well as initial lowest record right so i'll just create two variables right high scores equal to this and then i'll also say low score it's not scores i'll say score because scalar value not an array right scores of zero the first match entry is basically sets the record telling that this is my highest record this is my lowest record but yes no record is broken as of now so i'll also keep two variables low record broken record 
broken count right that will be too lengthy so i'll just high record broken count right now since the first entry is already been considered here i need to start considering from the second one here so i'll just try to start with i equal to one and then all the way up to n right i need to access element so i'll just write scores of i i need to check out if this is lesser than the present low score right if this is lesser than the present low score then it means that the lowest record is broken and my current lowest is should be updated now my current lowest to be updated with scores of i and then the low score count that is low record broken count has to be incremented the same thing has to be done only if the current score is greater than the present high score right now my high rec high score is updated and then the record broken at the higher end that's it is the program right so we can just think of putting this also into a block now once we do this we just need to print how many times the record is broken so which order should we print should we print the lowest one first and the highest one next or the highest one first lowest one next so here two times the first we should print the number of times the high record is broken and then followed by the number of times low record is broken right so we'll just I prefer writing in the next line so that I can comment that line easily. And then this one. Because after the first element, there should be a space. That is the reason why I have given a space here. And then here the space is not required. So let's save this. Right. That's the code. Then we'll try to see the input at one end. We'll take up a smaller input itself. And then we'll try to run the program. GCC. Breaking records, compiled it, number of games played is 4, scores is 12, 24, 10 and 24, right, so once the high record is broken, once the low record is broken, right, I think I will just put a new line here, so it looks better, then we will try to we verify this with the larger input nine games ten five twenty twenty four five two twenty five and then one right so number of times high record is broken is two number of times low record is broken is four it's matching right i just need to think okay copy this and put this into hacker rank for that i need to comment this this is not required and then this is not required right every okay and then this is also not required okay that's it copy this Let's put 
and see the sample template is given in C out here. It talks about lot of pointers, splitting strings, many things. You okay, and then files. You don't. You should never get scared of all this thing. Just remove this. Put whatever we wrote. If you want, you can remove the statements here, which is not at all required here. And then, if you want, you can put this entire thing into a single print table, right? So you can do it. Fine. I'll try to compile this, and then we'll try to submit this. done okay so let me just if i remove this statements and all or in fact this is just reading part so i'll just try to key point of the program is this this is the key point fine i hope everything is clear thank you